And we are cheerfully back at Universal Studios Hollywood for the Sega Star Kids Challenge. And they're getting ready for the finals of the Paris Street Fitness Race. To catch up on what happened here earlier, let's go up to Alex. Well, thank you, Scott. In Heat 1, it was the blue team that won when Aqua had problems at the crash pad. And then Carol Ann Ponte seemed to get tangled up in the jump rope. In Heat 2, Coral went on to the victory, despite the fact that Josh Byrne got a little lost. As a matter of fact, so did Ashley Johnson. And now, let's take a look at the important work of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Well, my daughter, Alexandra Vincent, was uh, driving on the freeway, and her car broke down, and she pulled onto the shoulder and called me, and uh, I went to pick her up. And as we were there on the shoulder of the freeway, a drunk driver came along 55 to 60 miles an hour driving on the shoulder. He didn't know. He couldn't tell because of the alcohol in his system that he was driving on the shoulder of the freeway. He couldn't tell that the cars were stopped and not moving, and he couldn't tell that the uh, lights were flashing and not steady. And he hit the car that my daughter Alex was leaning into to get her AAA card out of, going 55 miles an hour. And she was thrown about 21 feet and her neck was completely shattered and she died there on the shoulder of the freeway in my arms. You have an opportunity, you know, with a, with a tragedy like this, you have two paths you can go. You, you are a victim, but you can remain in a victim mode or you can decide, well, I want it to mean something. I want to do something to help to uh, see that other people don't have to go through the same thing that I did. Mad's mission is to stop drunk driving and to aid the victims of this heinous crime. Uh, in many states, when we first began, drunk driving was not even a crime. I mean, here we had people that were put into vehicles. They were behind the wheel driving two, three, and four thousand pound automobiles with weapons that were maiming and, and crippling and killing people. We had more than 600,000 people a year that were being maimed and, and killed, and more than 28,000 people a year that we knew of back in that day and time, in the early 80s, and 1980s, that were being killed due to drinking and driving. Um, so today what we're doing is, what MAD has really done is we have affected change in the public's attitude and their behavior. The behavior is slow and coming, but attitudes have changed. Ten years ago, I mean, how many of us could go into work and someone at work at the office would say, oh, I was so drunk last night, I don't know how I got home. People would laugh. Today they don't laugh. It's not funny anymore. There are too many alternatives out there. It's a crime today. And now let's go to Scott at the starting line with Joey Lawrence and Danny Pintaro. All right, gentlemen, this is the finals. You a little nervous? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah? yeah definitely. It's hard, yeah. But, uh, what do you think? What's the hardest part of the course? I think this This is uh, probably the hardest. It's uh, hard to get through. There's a lot of stuff to get in your way. Yeah, what, the, what, what, what part of it is the hardest for um, you? Going through those things right there. Last time I went through, I told you. They're really low, you know, and you have yeah. to, like, almost get down and just use your arms, which I is... I want this guy. There's this really hefty guy over there. I want him to do the pull-ups for me, and then we'll tag off, and then I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want it, I guess you yeah, can do it. Why not? Right. Guys, good luck. All right, thanks. All right. Okay. The best team win and uh, see at the end. All right. All right. So here we are at the final heat of the fitness relay. Danny Pintaro, Joey Lawrence, ready to pull up and get going. Now well, they're doing five pull-ups here. And they seem to be breaking out pretty even. Joey's away, and Danny has stopped. Apparently, he did not chin up enough. And now looking for a ruling. It's going to cost them a lot of time. The blue team is not hesitating. And Corey Kerr is flying through this course. Watch him throw his body down there to reach Josh Saviano as he jams onto those sit-ups. And Josh Burr has quite a bit of time to make up here, desperately trying to get through those cones. I don't know if Coral can catch him. Look at him hit the pad. Josh Saviano trying to reach Kelly Martin for the last leg of this all-important fitness relay. And Matthew Lawrence working hard. And Kelly Martin gets through those jump ropes and coming to the end of the race. That's it. That's the team from Easter Steel. That the is victory. the winner right there. Kelly Martin hits the pad for the victory. The Make-A-Wish team trying to make up time, but it's all for naught at this point. Mark Paul looking outstanding. Oh, oh nice puck. Doing a half gainer. Yeah, that's that. easy a 5-9 from the East German judge as he crashes through the padding. Let's go down to Brian. The agony of defeat, Mark Paul. Ah. Mark Paul. What? What was the biggest holdup in the course while know. you're laying here? Oh, no, I wasn't the biggest holdup in the course. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll win the next See, one. this is a serious thing. It's this taken is, very this seriously. Is, this is There's no joking here. Oh, this is take a no joking. Kelly. 
Guys, blue team. Good race. Good race. Now, after six events, you guys are still in first place. That's right, baby. Well, hey, gonna try and keep it that way. You better believe it. You guys are going all the way. Yeah. All the way. Blue team. You heard it straight from them. They're, they're gonna take it all the way. Good luck, guys. Right, now, Commissioner, what happened at the beginning? Well, a completed pull-up includes having the chin go over the bar. You see, Danny didn't complete it on the last one. was forced to go back and complete the pull-up. All right, with that victory, the blue takes a commanding lead, followed by Core, which is moving to second by itself, and tied for third is Aqua and Fuchsia. And now sit back and get ready for another Star Kids home movie. I know. My name is in the lobby under yeah. ah! <laughs> Okay. Right now, it's flavor clearance, and we were going, so we had this event in the bag. Forget it. It's like the other teams don't even have a chance. They don't even taste them, okay? Yeah, okay? Having fun? Well, we'll be back in a moment with the waiter's race. We're back with the Sega Star Kids Challenge. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood, where we're on the Star Walk, and we're just about to start the infamous Waiter's Race. Mr. Scott, this event oui. is enough to make your head spin, and in oui. fact, I think it has. I think so too, Rain. <laughs> Matt. But this event does tend to make the competitors very busy. You want to let the folks at home know how this works? Even better. Our commissioner has agreed to demonstrate this event in his new bum attire. Ah, great. Time for a little show and tell as you crazy Americans say. Okay, there are four competitors per team, and all four teams compete at once. Each participant must run to a pylon, put their head down on it, and then run around it five times. That is the killer. After that, each competitor runs. That is, if they can find the right direction. <laughs> to a table where they have to fill up some champagne glasses on a tray. Then they must take those glasses to another table where they empty them out into a container. While trying not to spill all the liquid. Right. Then, they must run back to the start line and touch off to the next run. And the team with the most water in the container wins. Yes, but in the event of a tie, the team with the best time wins. Enough of this, Mr. Scott, already. I'm fed up. This act is making me dizzy. <laughs> well, it's making me dizzy, yeah, too, I'm Scott. No <laughs> Speaking of which, thanks for the demo, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Now let's go over to Brian Green and see if our competitors are ready. Okay, here we are with all four teams, and... Uh, Guys, what do you think is going to be the hardest part of this whole obstacle? Is it the head spin or the water? I'm going to get dizzy. I'm going to get so dizzy. It's getting yeah. <laughs> But see, see, I did this last year, so I'm experienced, so I know it's Oh, he's a big stud. So basically, it's an overall hard event. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. You think one of the toughest, or? Uh... Um, definitely. Yeah, I don't know if it's challenging, I'll say. Yeah. It's the most challenging. Okay, well, uh, good luck, you guys. I got to see this, see this dizziness. And look at that, boys and girls. Bullwinkle's here to start the race for us. Hey, Rocky. Maybe the big moose doesn't know it. This is a tough event. The kids have to spin around five times. A Tiffany Amber Thiessen's been saved by the bell during her spin. Kids incorporated Haley Johnson being very deliberate about what she's doing. Danny Pintaro, our only returning veteran from this event. Now they run down to the tables with a glass. Oh, Tiffany's had a little problem. So we have A.J. Langer filling up her glasses very carefully. Interesting technique here by Tiffany, putting the glasses on the tray before filling them. Obviously, some waitressing experience in her past. Uh, Haley Johnson doesn't want to spill a drop of that water. Danny Pintaro break from the pack early and head for the table. There's Tiffany Amber again, making her way. Very deliberate. They now dump the glasses into a pitcher, return the tray, oh, run down and touch their AJ partner. AJ Langer is in third place at this moment. Going a little slow. And Danny Pintaro, the coral team, is the first one back. Silver Gregory now spinning around. Now Tiffany finishing up her first leg. Cora Carrier. We taking up the second leg the for the future team is third. And I don't think Haley Johnson has gotten back yet. Now she's taking her time. Look yeah. Up. There she goes. Now she's getting back. There's Corey, a little messy. No, he won't work in a restaurant. And coming up is Angela Watson for the Fuchsia team representing UCP. Guys, I may be crazy, but I don't think there's going to be enough water here. Look at him spill that stuff. Corey dumping his glasses. And Brandon Cole. Oh, almost going <laughs> into the crowd. He's so dizzy. Water everywhere on oh, this wait, floor. Oh, wait, Corey forgot his glasses. He's going to get back and get those and get them to the first table. It's going to cost him a lot of time here. Angela Watson's now up. She is dumping the water in that bucket real fast. This race is going to go down to the wire as Silver Gregory touches off to her teammate, Brittany Murphy. And Corey Carrier tags off to Olivia Burnett. 
Angela Watson tosses off to Darius McCrary. And Brandon Cole still with the drink down at the other end. Okay, Brittany Murphy cleanly across the barriers, and now she's at the table. Maybe Burnett making her way down the lane to the water, just a little off kilter. Darius, high concentration on his face. <laughs> Brandon Cole just getting back to Mario Lopez, who takes off. Mario once played a gang member in the movie Colors. He's going to need to spin like crazy to get back in this one. There's Maya Bialik. She's back on the court. And Olivia Burnett emptying her glasses into the pail. Also emptying her tray in. A little French technique. Same with Darius McCurry. <laughs> I don't know if emptying the tray is going to win it, but they're going to have to move awful quick to get to the finish line first here. Well, Darius is now booking back to Candace Hudson. Right behind them, Olivia is tagging off to Josh Saviano. And there's Mayan Bialik. She's the final leg for the Coral team. She's going to need every drop of water. And Mario Lopez just getting back to Carolyn Plante now, who must make up a lot of time. Josh Saviano having a little bit of trouble negotiating those cones. And the Coral team break through for the victory. What a finish. There's still competitors on the course. Josh Saviano filling the glasses. Kind of touching this fuchsia team is also meticulously filling up those glasses. Everybody right now going for second place here. Every point counts. Look at the concentration. Look at the precision. Look at how slow they're doing it. Kind of touching delicately trying to fill up the <laughs> You know there's no yeah, water shortage in California. Yeah, These kids are trying to take That's care of it now. Right, they're taking right. their time. They might just do it. <laughs> Josh splitting, going back Josh to the finish line. Josh Tway. He has to go back and get it. Oh, hey. big mistake. The fifth team, Candace Hudson, is on the way back. I think she might do it. Watch this, Commissioner. Yes. He left Josh, his tray. Carolyn is you taking her his tray. Seven. Might end up in a good position here. Saviano going all the way back. Oh, what is that going to cost the blue team? The small details. Well, it looks like the Fuchsia team, Candace Hudson, came in second. Quite a race, ladies and gentlemen. Quite a race. Yes, it was, Alex. It looks like a close one, Rain. Remember, they'll have to measure to see who got the most liquid, the coral team or the fuchsia team. You're right, Scott. This looks like it could be a tie. We'll have to see what the judges say. Now to you, Brian. Okay, here we are with the coral and the fuchsia team. Now, because of the amount of water and the time, it was a tie for first. So uh, you guys caught up in points. Now, coral is in second place, and fuchsia is in third. It tightened up the gap. It did tighten up the gap now between you guys and the blue team. So uh, hopefully in the next event you can make up some points and maybe pull on through. Of course, Darius is still complaining that yesterday they did win an event that they didn't, but it was the socks. I'm telling you. And, and, and you did beat me, Mark. I can't stand it. You beat me. You, you got me. He beat you. Yesterday was. He beat you. Three words. He beat you. <laughs> as you as you can see, the tension is uh, is getting a little a little high here. Let's take a look at the scores. The blue team stays in first, and because of the tie, the coral team tightens the gap. The fuchsia team pulls up to third, and the aqua team falls down to fourth place. And now a word from our own Hans and Franz. Hello, I'm Hans, and I'm Franz, and we're here to pump, pump you up. You know, we came down here today to help these little girly men, actors and actresses. But I don't know if there's too much we can do. We saw them by the water today in their suits. What do you think? Oh, it was terrible. Their legs, they look like telecons. They sure do. They're very little. They're very skinny. They're real pale. I don't know if they've been eating right. Oh, they, they've been eating seeds and nuts. They should eat something good, like beef. Big chunks of red meat. So we will work with them. I don't know if there's much we can do, but we'll keep trying. And I'm Hans. And I'm Franz. And we're here to pump you up. Now get your dictionaries ready, because we'll be back in a spell.